familiar were you with the Menendez brothers <clears throat> going into this? Honestly, uh, not at all. I called my mom immediately and I was like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna do this Menendez brother movie and she knew everything about the case. Mm -hmm. She immediately took the parent side, right? Yeah, being a mom. And the script takes a, a much more sympathetic side to the brothers. We, we like had this banter back and forth. What do you think we can attribute that fascination to? I think that this was one of the first televised court cases ever, right? Mm -hmm. And they were so overexposed. They were two wealthy, attractive, white, ki rich white kids who mm -hmm. killed their parents. They were so sensationalized. And there was also this like strange and just unusual erotic factor to the whole story. She's our mother. She's supposed to protect us. We have to act now. Courtney Love plays your mom. She does. In this. Yes, Kitty Menendez. What is she like on set? And mm. were you a fan of hers growing up? And to be honest with you, the second I saw the breakdown of the movie and I saw Courtney's name, I signed on to the movie. She's such a layered human being. She's she's so much more than what people think that she is. She has this hyper intelligence about her. She puts so much work into the craft of mm. of acting, right? And you know, I. I I think she's really in this like rebrand of sorts right now and she's just dedicated to her, her her well-being and it shows. She did my podcast. She was the mm -hmm. first episode of the second season that aired this week, yeah. Any questions that you asked her that you were nervous to ask her that you were surprised by her answer? I open each episode with a spoken word, right? Mm -hmm. And so I wrote this love letter to Courtney Love, right? For the Courtney Love bomb. And I was nervous to read it to her. She loved it, she got emotional. We both got emotional reading it. What's the biggest misconception about Courtney? That she's crazy, you know? I mean, like... Do people I, think that? I don't, yeah, right? I, I mean, I, I feel like Courtney Love has been witch hunted for, for years, uh -huh. right? Um, uh, and look, we're all crazy in, in one way or another, but I think that she's like crazy in all the right ways. And that she's just, I, I don't know. Her work ethic is like something I've never seen. Why didn't you say anything? I don't know. Dad said that he would kill me if I told anyone. There's alleged claims of abuse. How did you want to, I guess, prepare for that? I listened to some podcasts, honestly, that, that deal with physical abuse and sexual mm -hmm. abuse. Um, I just studied the script, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? The, the script that we have is, is Pretty much all of the facts are pulled straight from um, court transcripts. You said the movie is more sympathetic mm -hmm. to the brothers. Do you feel like the public should have been more sympathetic to the brothers? Or why are you guys <sighs> depicting it that way? I just think their story deserved to be heard more than it was. I think that we didn't know too much about sexual abuse in the early 90s. Riddled with extreme homophobia, the fact that that even existed in a court system 20 some years ago mm -hmm. is so insane to think about you know and i think that that really for me once i found that part out about this case that was really the driving force in why i wanted to tell this story i'm not sympathizing with the murder of their parents but i think that that what what is important is just to look at the help that they probably needed you know mm. what i mean did you get to talk to I didn't. The brothers at all? No, or? I no. didn't. That was like my first instinct was, oh, I gotta reach out, I gotta go, you know, sit down and talk to Lyle. If you ever did get the chance to sit down with Lyle, mm -hmm. what would you ask him? Oh man. I would want to get into his childhood before anything else. I, I would want to ask him, like, really what he remembers about his childhood, honestly.